Welcome back to the HF Works video series. The effect of a meander line on the mutual coupling reduction between antenna elements. The miniaturization of antenna arrays imposes on the designer to place a large number of elements in a small footprint. This action gives rise to the so-called mutual coupling between antenna elements. The mutual coupling causes crosstalk and distortion, leading to the deterioration in the antenna performance and potential distortion of the radiation pattern. We won't exaggerate if we say that such mutual coupling is the biggest obstacle to the miniaturization of antenna arrays. Therefore, when designing antenna arrays, we should take into consideration this phenomenon and try to reduce it. There are different techniques to reduce the mutual coupling. The so-called the meander line slot is the most recent and most promising technique. This meander, zigzag, or twisted slot is inserted between the antenna patches on the bottom ground plane to suppress the surface currents. The off-diagonal value of the S matrix, such as S21 for a two-ports device, indicates the amount of coupling between different elements. The lower is the value of the off-diagonal term, the lower is the coupling between the elements. S21, for example, is the preferred metric to quantify the said coupling. In addition, the near field plot of the electric field around the antennas is also another metric to quantify the coupling. To study this important topic, we choose the popular EMWorks High Frequency Simulator, HFWorks. We will use a simple 2 by one patch array antenna, with and without meander line, as an example to illustrate this technique. Since HF works as an add-in to SOLIDWORKS, the number one 3D CAD software, the creation and modification of the geometry is as easy as a pie. Therefore, we skip the geometry creation part and dive straight into HF works. Since we will use S21 as the main metric for the coupling, the antennas module of HF works is invoked. To add a new antenna study, right click on the project name and choose antennas. Give it the name of meander line. Click on the Frequency Sweep tab. Enter 4.7 GHz for the start frequency and 5.2 GHz for the end frequency. Enter 51 for the number of frequency points. No need to check the other tabs. The default is adequate for this application. Click OK. A new antenna study is added to the HF Works Manager tree. Let's apply the material for each body. Right click on Airbox to apply air. Similarly, you can follow the same procedure to apply material to all other parts. Since we applied materials in a previous study, just drag and drop materials from the previous study with meander line to materials in study 3. Let's apply the necessary boundary conditions. We have two antenna elements. So, we need to set two excitation ports. Port 1 is excited and port 2 is terminated with 50 ohms. 
Right click on boundary conditions and choose port. Apply port 1 on the circular face of Arlen. It is a simple wave port. Click on boundary conditions and choose lumped port with an impedance of 50 ohm. Apply port 2 on the other face. Click on boundary conditions to add perfect electric conductor boundary. Choose the bottom face of the substrate which presents the ground plane except the meander line slot and the inner and outer faces of Koch's part. Apply perfect electric conductor boundary on the antenna patches which are printed on the top face of the substrate. We are left only with the radiation's boundary conditions. Click on Boundary Conditions, choose Radiation and add all the outer faces of the airbox. To create another study without meander line, just copy the above study. Give it the name No Meander Line. All input parameters given to the meander line study remain the same, except the meander line slot. Edit the perfect electric conductor boundary. Add the meander slot face to the list of existing faces. It is equivalent to eliminating the meander line because the ground place is all metallic now and has no slot. All the pre-processing is now complete, and we are ready to run the studies. Right-click on a study name and choose Run. Solving will take time. Let's instead examine existing studies that were run previously. After the run is complete, Results folder is created and contains different type of results. Circuit parameters folder contains the results table and 2D plots. Antennas parameters folder contains the far field results such as gain, directivity, efficiency etc. Electric field and magnetic field folders contain the near electric and magnetic fields in the entire model. Port fields folder contains the electric and magnetic fields on the ports. Loss density and total loss folders contain the volume and surface losses inside the structure. We shall concentrate on the S21 results and the near electric field around the patches. Right click on the plots folder and a new 2D plot. Choose all from source. Choose S21 from parameters and click add. Click OK. The plots of S21 versus frequency appear for the meander line and no meander line studies. S21 at 4.9 GHz is around 7.5 dB and 26 dB without and with the meander line, respectively. The S21 graphs clearly show that adding meander line slots greatly improves the isolation between the antenna elements. Another metric to verify the isolation is the plot of the near electric field. From the electric field folder, we can create different types of plots. Fringe, vector, or streamline. To show the fringe plot of the electric field, just click on the electric field icon. 
The magnitude of the electric field is color coded where the red color is the maximum and the blue color is the minimum, as shown on the legend on the right side of the plot. Let's now compare the electric field plots with and without the meander line. This one belongs to the antenna without meander line. This one belongs to the antenna with meander line. From these two plots, the near electric field plots on the top plane show a reduction in the coupling between the elements if a meander line is used. Hence, the meander line is recommended to be used for reducing the coupling between elements in antenna arrays. A tool like HF Works is indispensable to design antennas and study the mutual coupling between antenna elements. You cannot guess it. You must simulate it. Thank you for watching. Bye now until the next video. Stay tuned.